Today we're going to do a lab activity on the Pythagorean Theorem. The materials you will need is the lab sheet that correlates to this activity, masking tape, a pencil, a ruler, and a calculator. To begin the lab, find an area in your house where two lines create a right angle. The most common place where two lines make a right angle is where the wall meets the floor. Once you find an area that creates a right angle, take a piece of your masking tape and create a right triangle with the right angle that you found. Once you create your right triangle, you want to measure the legs only of your right triangle. So you want to measure the first leg, which is leg A, and you want to measure leg B. After you measure your legs, record the data under step three. I also created a little rough sketch of my tri right triangle, and I labeled seven as my A, and B as my is 12, because those were the, the um, inches when I measured the legs of my right triangle. Now we're going to jump to step four and use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of our masking tape, also known as our hypotenuse. So a reminder, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is represented as seven, so we have seven squared plus 12 squared, which is b, equals c squared. Seven squared is 49 plus 12 squared is 144 equals c squared. 49 plus 144 gives me 193 equals c squared. And to undo a square, you want to take the square root of both numbers. So the square root of 193 is 13.89. Now go back and measure your masking tape, your hypotenuse. It should be what you got as your C value. I'm measuring my hypotenuse. That's 10 inches plus an extra three, four. So as you can tell, the Pythagorean theorem does work and it will give you the missing side length of a right triangle. Turn your paper over to the back and try some practice problems. If you tried the first practice problem and you solved for your hypotenuse, you should have gotten five as your C value. But the question is, what happens if you know what the hypotenuse length is and you're trying to find a leg? Let's try number two. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A is our missing piece, so we're going to keep it as A squared. We know that B is 12, so we're gonna write 12 squared equals C is 13, so 13 squared. A squared plus 12 squared is 144 equals 13 squared was 169. Subtract 144 from both sides. You end up with A squared equals 25. To undo a square, take the square root of both sides and you can see that our A value is five. So do you think you're ready for some word problems? Let's try. So number three says, a ladder that is 15 feet long rests against the top of a 12 foot building. How far from the base of the building is the ladder? So let's draw a picture to model the situation that's being told to us. A ladder that is 15 feet long rests against the top of a 12 foot building. So this will be my building, it's 12 feet high, and a ladder runs against the top of it. So that's 15. We want to find how far is the ladder from the base of the building. Oh look, we made a right triangle. There's our right angle. Opposite of the right angle is your hypotenuse, so that's C. 12 is A, we're missing B. So let's try to find the length of B. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. 12 squared plus B squared equals 15 squared. 144 plus B squared equals 225. 
Subtract 144 from both sides. B squared equals 81. The square root of 81 is 9. So the ladder is 9 feet away from the bottom of the building. I hope you enjoyed this video on Pythagorean Theorem, and I hope to see you watching the next video on how to apply it on Google Maps.